Alright YouTubers, how y'all doing today? Today's test is on a uh, little one pill, uh, 2290 DEI, as you see. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little run through. We're going to do a pill comparison test today. And what we've got is uh, we've got a Motorola 454. We've got a Toshiba 2290 on red dot. Let's see, clear it up. There you go. We've got an ASI. Uh, come on, clear up phone. ASI 2879. I guess it doesn't like them small letters in there, but that's what that is. And. Of course, that's what's in the amp right now. Some DEI 2879s, and then the new pill that I'm going to start using, I believe, hopefully. And we had another Toshiba around here. I'm going to try Toshiba 2879, so apparently I didn't put it on the bench here, but it will be included in the video. Um, right now, we're going to start off with the 2290. We're at 14. 8 volts which will drop back to 14.5 250 watt slug on RMS 1000 on my digital Dave peak and of course just our regular reflect which we're not really concerned with reflect right now we're concerned with the watts so here we go well, I guess it would be better if we turn the amp on uh, about a Looks like about a 25 watt. Let's lower that down and get it even 20. So about 20 watt dead key. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to say about 56. Oh, yeah. And showing about 180, 190 on the peak. And we'll be back. All right, guys. We switched out the pill to the uh, DEI 2879 take for granted that the configuration I did not change the configuration at all on the one pill we're still using the uh, smaller transformers so that might play a little bit of a part in the outcome of the DEI 2879 along with the Toshiba's we're still at the same voltage 250 watt slug I did notice the dead key did go down it's like 10 watts now um, versus the 2290 and of course that's the input of the pill um, you know, the 2290 is going to take less input drive than the 2879, so that's what that is. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. And as you see, 30 bird. Oh, uh, yeah. And 90 peak. And this is one of the issues, even if I did kind of configure it a little bit better. I mean, my reflect doesn't look bad. Oh, uh, yeah. This is what we've been running into a lot with these DEIs. It was like when they first came out, they did real good. And now that they've settled in with the, uh, I should say, the economy of CB, they just don't seem to be performing as much. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I went on the hunt for another pill. We'll be back with the next one. All right, guys. We got the non-red dot 2SC 2879. Remember, we ain't changed the configuration at all. Still at 1484. 250-watt slug still. Look where our dead key is now. Okay, now I just switched from a DEI 2879 to the Toshiba. Big difference. Oh, yeah. Hello, 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 hello. So about 55 to 58, somewhere in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, 200. So, oh, yeah. And a reflect not moving a lick. So, let's move on to the next test. Oh, just to let y'all know, we're going to include two more in this video, too. A uh, guy wants me to put this amp board in. But one of these Toshibas is one of those knockoffs off of eBay, this good old 6C. We're going to test that in here, too, along with this red dot. So, we'll be back with some more. So, that's just added to, uh, to what we're doing here. We'll be back. Okay. Toshiba 2879 red dot. 14. Still same slugs. They're over 20 watt dead key. Oh, yeah. One, 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 one. Audio. And there you go. 
155, 180, 190. On to the next one. All right, guys, we're on the uh, famous eBay 2879 6C model. Same thing like usual. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, 40 bird. Oh, yeah. That looks a little bit better than the DEI. And it is working. What the reflect look like? Oh, yeah. The reflect is great. So there you go. It does work. Not making the most powerful watts out there, but eBay 6C just goes to show you. Old China, China men are copying everything. We'll be back with the next test. All right, guys, back with the next test. Got the ASI or yeah, ASI 2879, uh, company out of California. Same thing. 250 watt slug. Oh uh, yeah, 22 bird. Oh uh, yeah, maybe a good 90. I don't know. We'll be back with the next test. All right, guys, the old Motorola MRF 454. Okay. What's going on? I'm... Oh, I lost my ground line. Hold on. 14.83 still. 250 watt slug, 15 watt dead key. Oh yeah, one, 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 45. Oh yeah, 150. We'll be back with the next test. 2290, non red dot, Toshiba, 14, 250 watt slug. Uh, wherever the meter is. Uh, there you go. Almost 20. Oh, yeah. On, 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 on. Oh, yeah. And we'll be back. Alright, guys. This is the last test of uh, the pills. This is the newest pill uh, that we're going to be using. Um, I'm not letting it out yet. You want to know what it is buy one of my amps um, this is the first test I have not tested this transistor yet but it's made by a US company see where the voltage is still 250 watt slug thousand and here we go oh uh, yeah oh yeah so not bad for what's available on the market now 52 on the bird and what 170 peak. Still the DEI 2290 probably looked the best for what's new on the market, but they don't always look like that. So we might have just got a lucky uh, DEI there for a 2290, but y'all seen what the 2879 did. And that's what this transistor is going to take the place of is basically a 2879. So I'm looking for comparable watch to the 2879. Now, my next test is going to be on a 4 pill, so look for that in the upcoming couple, uh, next couple of days because I'm in the process of building a 4 now. We'll be back. Hope you all enjoy the videos. This was merely just a test on a whole bunch of different transistors. DEIs, ASI, Motorola, you know, just a whole bunch of different stuff just for general knowledge. That's all. I'm not dogging nothing. We're just looking for something that's a little bit... Uh, more comparable to uh, what's available in the market now. Hope y'all enjoy. Both stick men at the new AFCB shop, and we're gone.